KLFS, this week we are going to be doing thoughts on blank. My thoughts are going to be on Doctor Who characters and their relationships, the lovish relationships that are within um, a certain doctor's period. I'm going to ease in with the story and I'm going to give you my thoughts at the ending because I think the story is very important with this video. So let's begin. So one October night in a Google Hangout, it was me, Timothy, the one on Wednesday, and then Aaron, the one that used to be on Tuesday, but now he's upgraded to management, so we were all hanging out and they were talking about Doctor Who and I've never heard about Doctor Who in my life. Timothy and Aaron were like, oh yeah, you should watch it. And more Timothy than Aaron, but they're both like, yeah, you should watch it. And I was like, where do you watch it? Netflix. So I binge watched all of Doctor Who from the middle of October to early December. and. I was told to start out with Matt Smith's Doctor, so I did, which is, I think, season 5. I started out with season 5 and I worked my way around back to season 5. Now, with Matt Smith's character, there is a character that he has met from the beginning of him from his regeneration and her name is Amy Pond, Amelia Pond. And she is by far one of the prettiest characters I have to say. She's one of my favorites. And they met when she was a little girl, but don't get this weird because he was grown up and she was a little girl. It's not like pedophilish or anything. They were friends. and. You know, he's a time traveler, so he can time travel through space and time. What I'm trying to get to is that he traveled into the future and met her after she waited so long. But how romantic is that, that he came back for her? He came back for Amelia Pond. He came back. He came back. So this is when I started getting, you know, Doctor Who and Amy Pond are together forever, meant to be, was when he came back for her. Now, little did he know that he took forever, but I mean, it's still the thought that counts. As I tweeted this, I tweeted to Timothy and I said, is Amy and the doctor gonna fall in love? I was like, they have to. They have to. They got to. And he just said, keep watching. So you know what? You know what? He got my hopes up for this. He got my hopes up. So it's all Timothy Starney's fault. That is where it started. And as the couple seasons go by, I find out that, you know, the doctor and Amy aren't together. <laughs> They're not meant to be. And she's meant to be with this guy named Rory. No offense to the guy. No offense. But he came in. He came in after they had that connection when she was like five years old and he was like 50. And they had that connection when they first met and she waited for him because she had a crush on him as pedophilish as that sounds. Wow. <laughs> they were meant to be from the beginning and he came back for her, it's meant to be. And this Rory guy, come on, this fella doesn't know what he's up against. You have this guy that saves planets and then you have Rory. Do you get the picture? And the reason why I do not like Amy and Rory together is because the doctor and Amy are together forever. How can... Uh, what type of person just goes in to someone's relationship like that? Like, Amy and the doctor kissed. It was official when they kissed, okay? <laughs> now, I may be leaving out some stuff, but, you know, I'm just going to keep going with it. I can't let anybody change my mind. It's... It's the doctor and Amy. I even have a ship name for them, and it's Amy Hooey. Hashtag Amy Hooey. Amy is always by the doctor's side, and she's always, they're always flirting. I don't care if you think it's friendly flirting. It's like they're always together forever. Like, in every single battle until Amy dies, they're always together. It's just, I can't, like, they just, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Rory, you know, throughout the timeline, didn't do really that much. He didn't do anything, really. He didn't really contribute to their relationship, I think, in at all. I don't think so. I just have to say that if it wasn't true love, if it wasn't true love, let me tell you. If Amy and the doctor were not meant to be, tell me this. Why did she appear? Why was he thinking of her that last episode when he was regenerating and stuff? Why was he thinking of her? Why did she come down? Why did they go like this and like that? They're in love. I get harassed a lot for shipping the doctor and Amy. How can you not see this lovely relationship unfold? Maybe it's because, you know, I didn't know 
the the be before companions. So that's why probably I got hooked on Amy and the Doctor being together forever because I didn't know the past relationships he's had. Maybe my mind could have been changed if I didn't start with season five. But I'm glad I did because Amy and the Doctor are so cute together. Like. I can't even. I hate Rory. He's just not meant to be with my Amy girl, you know? I would love Amy over River Song. Just saying, because River Song tried to kill freaking the doctor. How's that true love? Huh? How's he she poison poisoned him? How's that true love? Huh? You tell me that. You tell me that. So my thoughts were on basically this little love this love figuration into this TV show and I really just I'm really standing by Amy and the doctor being together forever you can ask Aaron you can ask Timothy that I'm sticking by it and these guys will tell you that I won't back down I'd also like to say happy birthday to Aaron today's his birthday he turned 21 Aaron is gonna go to the closest grocery store and he's gonna pick up a 12 pack of Capri Suns and he's gonna drink them tonight he's gonna get crunk so, so happy birthday, Erin. All my links are going to be down in the description below. Please subscribe if you liked it. You know, you don't have to, but I'm just saying. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Always smile, and never stop smiling. You never know whose life you're going to change with that smile. You never know if you can save someone's life. Always go for your dreams, and never give up on your dreams, because your dreams are what make you, you. And remember, love Amy and the Doctor Dove.